four different ways to sublimate on 100% cotton. Today, I'm going to teach you guys four different ways, four different methods that you can use. And this is just four of many. So there's a few that I'm going to show you guys that's new. Uh, and then there's a couple that I've actually showed you guys previously, but I am so excited for this one because I absolutely love sublimation. So as you guys are joining, let us know where you guys are from, where are you guys crafting from, what projects are you guys working on? I want to know all of the things down below. So let's go ahead and dive right in. <music> All right, so let's go ahead and start off with our hashtag. So today we're going to be giving away 15 plus credits. So you do not have to be a plus member to receive these plus credits. They'll be added to your account. All you have to do is use hashtag sublimation. So in the comments below, as you guys are joining in, use hashtag sublimation for a chance to win those 15 plus credits credits. So definitely make sure you guys stick around all the way to the end because you guys do not want to miss a thing. I have so much fun stuff going on here. So let's go ahead and pull open. Hello, hello. I see hello from Louisiana. Hello from Kentucky. Hello from Texas, West Texas. Hello, hello, Ohio. Thank you guys so much for joining. I'm so excited that you guys are here. It is Monday and I'm going to try not to trip up on my words today. So all right. So let me go ahead and pull open the bundle here. So today I'm so here for this one. It is the Christmas sublimation bundle. It is $19 and it has almost $300 in value. So for less than $20, you guys are going to get over 300 bucks. You guys cannot beat this, especially if you guys are just now getting into sublimation. Um, these are amazing. Stickers, pillows, t-shirts, all of the things, because you can even use these with print and cut with your Cricut as well. So I'm going to go ahead and scroll through here a little bit and show you guys what's included, whether you guys are making t-shirts, coffee mugs, pillowcases, all sorts of fun stuff. I mean, look at all of these amazing designs. I see hashtag sublimation rolling through. So you guys are definitely hanging out. I even love these ones right here. You can take these into Canva and you guys can create the perfect um, family t-shirt. I even remembered, so my daughters, I made pajama pants for them using these files right here. And on the back, I actually put all of our pets with each one of our kids and put the names. It was so cute on the back pocket of some pajama pants. So stinking cute. I love these ones as well. So there we have it. Even got Tumblr stuff, lots and lots of goodies. So let me go ahead and show you the ones I'm actually using today. So I'm actually using this bundle right here and I'm using, using slaying it like Santa. How stinking cute is this? It is a leopard print because you guys know I'm a sucker for leopard print, but there is so many good ones in here. Merry Christmas to y'all. And I, and to y'all a good night. Um, love it. Oh, so jolly. I love that one too. So cute. Santa vibes. But there's just so many inside of here that I absolutely adore. These would be perfect for those bleach t-shirts as well. So inside of here, I love this one. If you guys love some of that, especially those teens, okay, they're, they're going to love these designs right here. I love this one right here. It says my heart is filled with joy, but it's um, covered in um, Christmas lights. And I'm going to use that one today. We're going to be doing that one with our DTF hack. So if you guys have not seen the direct to film hack using sublimation, I'm going to do it today live. So definitely make sure you hang out to check that one out. And then from this one, I think we were actually going to do this design right here, but I switched it up today and did Peace, Love, Snow. Um, so I haven't done one of those designs in a while, so I thought we would do this one. And then we are going to be using this bundle right here. So one thing that I was actually thinking about this one with sublimation is you could actually do the truck, say, for example, where it's Merry Christmas, to bring it down. Say, for example, you only own the Sawgrass SG500 or a smaller Epson, and you can only go up to 8.5 by 14. You could print this part in sublimation, and then when it comes to the Merry Christmas all the way around, you could do that with vinyl. So lots of options here, but I really love this one as well. And we're going to do the super cute Santa sleigh right here. So everything I've printed out, I'm going to go ahead and drop this down below. So we are done with this screen. So let me go ahead and do that. And then I'm going to swap out screen. So I'm actually going to switch to Cricut Design Space so I can show you guys how I've done some stuff. So give me just a second. I'm going to do stop screen share. Once again, as you guys are coming in, tell me where you guys are from. How's the weather? Are you guys starting to get the fall weather? I want to know, is the leaves falling where you're at? How is it? So it's supposed to be 99 degrees tomorrow, and we have our last... Um, our last golf tournament for my daughter. And so uh, it's going to be 99 degrees. So y'all guys keep me in your thoughts. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and pull open this screen right here. 
And I want to go ahead and just jump right into Cricut Design Space so I can show you what we're working with. And then we're going to start making our projects. So two of the things that I'm going to use here. Number one, you could use Caesar Easy Subly. Um, there is um, several different printable um, HTVs, if you will, that will go into your sublimation printer. So there's a few different ones of those that are actually made for this. But today, I'm going to show you guys using what you have on hand. So one of them is going to be Glitter HTV, and the other one is going to be Flock HTV. I have personally not sublimated on Flock HTV, but I've been wanting to for a long time. I just haven't had the chance. So we're going to do it today live. So I'm going to find out when you find out. So what I'm going to show you here is doing two different printing cuts, one that's the normal size and one that we're actually going to cut in half so we can make it much bigger. So actually, I think... My computer, sorry about that, guys. My phone, oh, let me see if I can turn. Hopefully it doesn't do that again. Okay, I don't know if you guys heard that or not, but my phone definitely connected to my computer. Here we go, da, da, da. Okay, so as you guys can see here, um, I, I cut it in half. So essentially, instead of having to say inside of that 6.75 by 9.25, we can make it so much bigger. So I'm going to show you guys how I did this. So I'm actually going to go ahead and hide these really quick. And that way, just to kind of make it easier, I'm going to go all the way down here. There we go. Perfect. And I'm going to bring in my two files. So we'll start with this one. So bringing in a design like this, so say, for example, you only have the Sawgrass SG500 or you have the smaller sublimation printer, you are limited to eight and a half by 11 or eight and a half by 14 is the biggest that you can do. So with this one, this is a design that would be perfect for eight and a half by 11 paper. So what I'm going to do is I always start with my biggest number, which is at 9.25. So I'm going to go ahead and do 9.25, enter. So this is where it's important because I am going to add an offset. I don't need to go off the offset number. I need to go off the print and cut number. And so you notice I don't have a warning. This is perfect. It's going to be ready for print and cut. Now, my next step here is we're going to go ahead and add an offset. So you're going to come up here, click on that offset, and then you can adjust that. So however big or small. So the offset is going to be our glitter HTD, your flock HTD. There's all sorts of different materials. Your Caesar Easy Subly, you know, if you were, well, Caesar Easy Subly, you could flatten these and have that as well to have a little bit of a background, but um, that's going to be your material. So that's the sublimation print and then your material. So I'm happy with it, looks good. If I wanted to get rid of these, I could go ahead and make it a little bit bigger, but I'm happy with it. I'm gonna hit apply. It's automatically gonna change to black. We're gonna click on it and we're gonna change it to white. Now you're also gonna notice it's a print and cut because we are working with a print and cut. We're gonna go ahead and change that to a basic cut. So it's gonna change it to gray, which is totally fine. You guys get the point, you guys can see this. So you notice this design now. So when I go to put this on my t-shirt, it's going to be the entire thing, even with the offset. It looks like it's 9.75 by 5.8. So this is going to be completely good to go. I don't have the warning. That one's super duper easy peasy, right? All right. So let's go ahead and move this guy out of the way and bring in the next one. So let me go ahead and bring in that next one. Here we go. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to go ahead and grab that biggest number here. So I'm going to go over here to my whip and do 9.25, enter. So you're going to notice that I've got 9.25 wide and then I've got 8.745. So instead of me trying to shrink this down and make it super small, this is what we're going to do. So I'm actually going to slice this in half. But before I slice it, I want to go ahead and get my offset. So we're going to go ahead and do that. So making sure you do have at least a 9.25, okay? We're going to apply the offset. And then we're going to go ahead, once again, if you want it bigger or smaller, go ahead and do that. We're going to go ahead and hit apply. I'm going to go ahead and change this to a basic cut. And then I'm going to go ahead and just, well, I'm going to leave it gray so you guys can see it slice. So this is what it's going to look like, right? We're going to grab a square. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. And then I'm going to go ahead and get this lined up. What I Figure out where you want to slice this. So do you want to slice it directly in half? If you've got a window, so say, for example, I've got a blank spot anywhere on the design, you may want to do it there. So say, for example, if I had a blank spot here, I may want to slice it right up here. But for me, I chose pretty much the middle of it. So I went just like this. Make sure it's overhanging on both sides. We're going to come up here and we're going to click unlock. Now, if I'm speaking too fast for you guys, you guys can definitely watch this in the replay and slow things down. 
And if you guys have missed anything, you guys can once again, just definitely check it on the replay. All right, so I'm gonna go over half of that design, not the entire thing, but half of it. And this is what we're gonna do. So we are gonna go ahead and grab, so I'm gonna hit shift and I'm gonna grab this design right here, right? So I've selected both of my pieces. So we're gonna start with that one. We're gonna hit slice. Then to make it easy, I'm just gonna weld my box back. So you can find both of your box pieces or bring in a new square if I'm confusing you guys and just delete these pieces. But what if you do this, you can go ahead and hit weld. It's going to just take your box right back to where it was just to make it easy. I've got a tiny little cut here for some weird reason. I just go to contour, hit I hide all contours and we're good. So now what I'm going to do is I need to slice the back layer. So we're going to grab my back layer here, which is my offset. We're going to grab the box and then we're going to hit slice again. So this time, make sure that stays awake. I'm going to go ahead and delete my box pieces so I don't need them anymore. There we go. And then we are going to, I'm going to grab these pieces here and I'm going to move them to the back just so you guys can visually see everything again. So let me go ahead and do those. All right. Arrange, send backwards, and then arrange, send backwards. It just pushes it whichever way you're doing it. Now you can see it's sliced in half. So when we go to make it, and you notice we have no warnings for a print then cut, I'm going to go ahead and choose on the mat. I'm going to hit continue. And then you're going to make sure and mirror. So make sure that you guys mirror your materials, your glitter and your whatever you're working with. If you're working with flock, glitter, all of those. Don't mirror your print then cuts. Now, when you go to print them, so say, for example, if you are using a sawgrass printer, what you're going to want to do is you're going to go to continue. You're going to send to printer. But when you do, you're going to turn off your bleed and then you're going to turn on use system dialog and then you're going to hit print. From here, you guys won't be able to see my screen. But once you hit print, it's going to send it to your computer. You're going to save it as a PDF and then take it over to your printer. So I know that's a little bit confusing, but it is super easy. So once you hit print, it's really not gonna send it to your printer. It's going to send it to your computer. So I hope that I've not confused you guys. And then you're gonna print it with your sawgrass. And because we're not gonna have Cricut really cut those, we're gonna cut them. So you're fixing to see that right now. All right, so let me go ahead and drop this screen. We are completely done with this. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit cancel there. There we go. Perfect. So let's see. I think we all have forgotten to mirror at one point. Yes. And I still do it. Even one of my lives way back there, I did that with the glitter too. And so, yeah, it's over, especially when it's like your last bit of material. Oh, it's the worst. Okay. So here we go. Now let me go ahead and show you the supplies we're working with, and then we're going to get started. All right. I told you guys already, I'm working with flock HTV, which feels like velvet. I'm working with glitter HTV that is white. And then I am working with a spray that I found on Amazon. So this spray right here is a sublimation coating. So this is kind of like that, um, poly spray. What is it called? Somebody help me in the comments below that called poly coating, but you have to mix that and all that. Or this is, I think it's like 20 bucks, 10 to $20. It's already mixed for you. And especially if you're just a hobbyist, it's going to last you for several shirts. So we're going to show that today. And then the other one is if you guys have not seen the direct to film hack, so you guys are able to do a direct to film and then you're able to basically do a sublimation hack with it. So what you're going to need is direct to film. Um, you're film. And then you're going to need powder that is made for direct to film as well. So I have these linked down below for you guys, but these are sold out a lot of times, but there is other ones. So as long as it says it's made for direct to film, you are good to go. And then you're going to want some tape of some sort, whether it's washi tape. I've got some purple tape here. You could definitely use painter's tape as well. And then I've got some t-shirts here. I've got some really fun t-shirts. I'm going to drop y'all down just so you guys can see. I totally forgot <laughs> to turn on my camera. So y'all bear with me for a sec. So I'll actually show you up here while that kind of does its thing. I told y'all it's a Monday. I was going to do something. So I found these really fun tie-dye t-shirts that were already tie-dyed for us. So you guys know that if you guys ever try to use my link sample, I always use clothing shop online. It's where I've always ordered all of my t-shirts. They, they ship fast. I just like them. So I found these t-shirts and they are called 
color tone and they're on clearance right now y'all so definitely go check them out they are tie-dyed and there's tons of different colors so i've got a blue one here and these are 100 cotton and i've got a green one i want to play with so we can put some colors and then i've got two white t-shirts all right so let's start making some t-shirts here once again uh don't forget to use that hashtag sublimation we're going to draw a winner in just a minute let me start my first project and then we're going to pick a winner so make sure you guys are using those all right so i'm going to go ahead and drop us down below here we go now i almost messed up because if you guys notice my paper store up here i accidentally somebody tell me if you've ever done this before my lint roller fell over on this i've done it before and ruined it and had to reprint i saved it luckily it did not get on the print it was just in different oh that made me sick <laughs> all right so here we go so let's start with our easy one first so let's start with this one right here so it's very important whenever you do this, because we're not using print and cut, you don't need to. You just want to trim off that black line there, because if you sublimate with that, you're going to have a black line on your t-shirt. So I'm going to go and just quickly use my paper trimmer to cut all of these pieces off here. Now, once again, I hope I have not went too fast for you guys, but if you if I did, you could definitely watch it on the replay. Um, if you guys are like me, it may watch take you a couple times to watch it. All right. Also, is anybody getting into some holiday crafts? What projects are you guys working on? I think I am going to, just so you guys know, I'm going to go ahead and move these guys out of my way. So bear with me for just a second. I tried the new DTV today. Oh, yay. How did it go? Let me know. Yay, my Epson is always set to mirror. Yes, that's how my uh, sawgrass is too. So that's why with this, I definitely say don't mirror. All right, so we've got my pad here. I've got my Cricut Easy Press at 385 for 40 seconds. So let's get our t-shirt. I'm going to do the blue one here because I think that snowman is going to just look so cute on here. All right, here we go. Dun, dun, dun. Perfect. So the very first thing we're going to do is pull out any sort of moisture, smooth it down just as usual. I don't need a lint roll on this one because we're putting down the flock HTV. So we're going to figure out about... Where I want this to go, you can always fold it in half so you can make sure where your center is. So I'm going to come down around four fingers or so on this one. Since this is a bigger t-shirt, this is an extra large. I'm going to come down just a little bit. Here we go. Now with this, I'm only going to do like a two to five second tack down. I'll probably do around five seconds. Um, and I didn't hit my timer, so we are good to go. So you just need to tack down because we're going to press on it for 40 seconds. So I don't need to overheat this. My X-Tool arrives next week. Yay! I actually have the X-Tool. Um, what is it? You know the one that looks... I can't think of it. The X-Tool M1. I have that. So if you guys want to see videos on it, we have not used it yet. If you guys want to see the X-1... X tool in <laughs> one. You guys let me know. All right. Make sure you may want to let it cool down a little bit. Mine worked out pretty good here. Oh, it's so cool. I love it. It feels like velvet. Get this out of our way. And then where's my heat? Oh, I have it right here. So what we're going to do, here's where it's going to be a little bit tricky. So we've got to make sure I'm trying to let this cool down just a little bit more. You want to make sure that you line this guy up nice, right? So what you can do just to kind of help out a little bit better with your guiding, you can go ahead and do like a quick fussy cut. And that way we can get a little bit closer and see where we are working with. All right. There we go. Perfect. So now I can come in here. All right, and we're going to tip this. So I'm going to go ahead and take down my two pieces of tape. Once again, guys, I have never sublimated on the Flock HTV, but I've been dying to. So this could be a fail. So you guys comment down below. Do you think this is going to be a fail or do you think it's going to be good? You guys give me the Christmas trees down below if you think it's going to be good. Give me the Christmas spirit. I need it. <laughs> All right, so we've got like 34 seconds left here. I, like I said, guys. When it comes to sublimation, I feel like this is my area of, I just love it. I get so, so excited. Let's see, Brenda, sublimation. Dun, 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 dun. Let's see, um, I am saving for the X tool. I'm excited. I've actually had it for a little bit. I just haven't had a chance to play with it. I've got my Cricut almost down. I bought a machine for sublimation too. Chicken to get, get going. You can do this. You've got this, Susan. You got it. I want to see videos for the XM one. I have one. Oh, I, okay. 
I definitely got to get on it, guys. Okay, here we go. Moment of truth. Did it work? We're about to find out. Dun, 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 dun. All right, here we go. I'm going to get a corner. Oh, I better let you guys see at the same time. Here we go. Everybody cross your fingers. Here we go. Dun, 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 dun. Boom. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. So to me, almost, I feel like the color could have been a little bit more vibrant. So I feel like if you do this with a bigger heat press and have a little bit more pressure, um, it's definitely going to pop a little bit more. Working on wedding signs. Uh, I envy you. Those are so, I love wedding signs. Are you doing the acrylic ones or are you just doing some wooden stuff? All right, so here's our first design. It is a little bit, I hope from Australia. Um, it's a little bit lighter than I would have wanted it to be, but we did sublimate on 100% cotton. And I just think this whole tie-dye shirt, so this is a way to use. So if you have any t-shirts that you guys also want to reuse, or maybe you find at the thrift store, um, that's definitely a way to upcycle. But you can also make your own tie-dye t-shirts, obviously. Super, super cheap. I love it. So you guys let me know down below. I definitely think it is a little bit lighter, like I said, but it feels like velvet. So cool. All right. So let's move on to the second one. So the second one I'm so excited about because this is the one. Actually, I almost forgot. Let's go ahead and do a giveaway. I think it's time. If it's time, here we go. It looks like it's time. We're going to go ahead and hit that draw button. Good. Let's see. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, I love this. Here we go. Bum, bum, bum. Draw. Because I love to be a part of this. Oh, I love it. You guys are going to enjoy it. We have some good plus stuff, guys. So if you guys are not a plus member, y'all have to check that out. All right, here we go. Congratulations, Craft me happy. I love your name. Craft me happy. I love it. Congratulations. You are the lucky winner of 15 plus credits. All you have to do is reach out to mel at designbundles.net. Let them know that you were the lucky winner and they will add those credits to your account today. So you can start crafting once again. Congratulations. Thank you all for participating. I'm so, so excited. All right. So let's go into another one. All right. So for the next one, we're going to give away this entire sublimation bundle worth over th almost $300. So all you have to do is use hashtag Christmas. Hashtag Christmas is going to get you a chance to win the entire sublimation bundle that I'm using today, the whole thing. So go ahead and use those hashtag Christmases down below. All right, so let's go ahead. I'm going to drop it down now. Now for this one, I want to use the screen t-shirt because when you're using an offset with that white, it's going to pop off of here. So I'm really, really excited about it. So we're going to use this green one, like I said. So cute. I did this and the heat pressed for 60 seconds and the color. Okay, so I needed more heat. Okay, or more time. 60 seconds, y'all. Thank you so much. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and smooth everything out once again, pulling out any sort of moisture, smoothing everything down as usual. There we have it. Perfect. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to line these up. So this is pretty much the only trick. Well, I want to say the only tricky part because I think I've got the other piece figured out. So we are going to go ahead and figure out where this is going to go. So I'm thinking some right about in here is going to look great. I can fold it in half, figure out where my center is. All right. So I think somewhere right here is going to look good to me. Perfect. So we are going to go ahead and press once again, just a couple seconds to get a, uh, to get a tack down. I can't wait until Christmas. I know me too. I told you guys last week, I have started watching the Christmas movies and I cannot help it. I've watched home alone five times guys. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I've watched it five times, but I did go back. Like I told y'all, I did go back and watch Hocus Pocus, but I have been watching Christmas movies like crazy. I don't know what it is because I love ball. I love Halloween, but for some reason, it's like I've moved on. I know everybody in my household is questioning me. All right, so we are going to go ahead and make sure you cover back at that top. So you're just going to line these up. So I feel like this was not bad at all. All right, so the scary part you would think would be the sublimation page, but I think I've got it figured out, like I told you guys. So we're going to go ahead and get this down. I'm doing 385 for 40 seconds, but uh, we're not going to do the whole thing on this. That's for the sublimation part. I'm just doing a few second tack down. Let's see. I see that hashtag Christmas coming in. You guys put some Christmas trees down below, put some Santas, put some snowmen, penguins, snowflakes down below in the comments. If you guys are ready for Christmas, if you're ready for fall, I want to see pumpkins, maybe some ghosts and some bats. All right, here we go. Also, make sure you guys, I got a little bit of a line here, but I don't think you guys will really be able to tell um, once we put my design down. 
Um, also, make sure you guys are checking out our Instagram and our TikTok because I've actually started making some videos over there. And we just released a really fun one this morning. So if you guys have homecoming coming up, I made some senior homecoming pants. So definitely make sure you guys go check out our TikTok as well. All right, so for this, this is my plan. So let's start with trimming off all of that excess black lines, okay? So we're gonna start with that. But when it comes to our piece that we sliced, we're going to cut it all the way up to the, uh, the bottom of this word here. So I'm gonna go ahead and carefully line this up just like this. And we need to get right on it. So we're gonna pray that we got right on that, which looks good. There we go. So you want to see how I just cut that line right there. So that way we have it, right? So let's do the same thing to the other one. Here we go. I'm telling you guys. Oh, I see Halloween. I see the Santa Claus is coming in. Oh, I'm seeing a mixture of Halloween and fall coming in here. Ugh, I want all the things. And by the way, so when we were out on the golf cart last week, I think I told you guys, I seen some fall leaves on the ground and I was so pumped. My daughter picked one up. Okay, so I accidentally cut into that word a little bit. So I'm hoping I didn't already mess this up. So here we go. Let's see what we got. I think we're going to be saved by the bell. I think we're going to be safe. <laughs> but I did accidentally cut a tiny bell. Hopefully you guys can see that. I did get into it a little bit. So y'all be careful on that. So the reason why I chose to do this one glitter is it's going to make... So this wording right here looks like it is glitter. So I was hoping that it would pop off here and look like glitter. All right, so here we go. So for this, before we lay it down, because then it's like, okay, well, how do we make sure we're going to put this thing together? So I'm actually going to first line this up. Just like that. And then we're going to carefully make a little bit like that. Just getting it right here on the front first so I could visually see what I got going on. There we go. And then I'm going to flip it over. And I'm going to attempt to tape down that back side. All right. So we're going to go over this just like so. All right. So make sure you guys are using that hashtag Christmas for a chance to win this entire bundle. All right, here we go, perfect. So you just really wanna make sure that you've got those nice and lined up. And then I'm just going to kind of peek at this. I could definitely go around it once again, just to make sure everything looks good. But I think I am pretty happy with it where it's at. So we're gonna tape it down. All right, boom, boom. And then I'm gonna cover it with parchment paper. Oops, actually we're gonna get a new one. All right, I'm gonna cover it with parchment. And I'm gonna go over it like this. I think that's gonna cover everything and go. So I'm doing 385 again for 40 seconds. I do think we'll be pretty good on this one. If not, I would do, um, as somebody recommended a while ago, I'd probably do 60 seconds um, if we don't get a super vibrant color. So hashtag Christmas, I see those coming in. I see some pumpkins and all of the things. I could probably bring this up here for just a second. Oh yeah, by the way, I've moved my, I came down here, worked a little bit this weekend. I moved my computer right in front of me. So that way now when I look at the computer, I can just be like this <laughs> instead of over here. Um, let's see, I see some, a lot of Halloween and fall stuff coming in. I can see our Christmas trees. Oh, I'm just so ready for everything. All right, so let's drop it back down and fill. Here we go, ready? Dun, da, da, da. Boom. This one came out so much better. I did get a little bit of a line there. I don't know if you guys can see it or not, but look at how this popped off of this green t-shirt. I love it. I'll bring it back up here so you guys can hopefully see a little bit better. But this green t-shirt, once again, these are on clearance right now over at that clothing shop online. We do have a link down below. So if you see where it says t-shirt, um, it's not going to take you directly to these, but go to brands and go to color tone, or you can go to their clearance section. I always highly recommend going to their clearance section and checking that out, especially if you're doing it for a hobby. Um, I, I grab I grab my blanks over there too, to teach you guys. So that way I can grab some stuff 
affordable as well. But I love the way this came off of that green. So like I said, having that offset from the glitter or your flock HTV is going to really help it pop off of a color as well. So there we go. We have sublimated once again on 100% cotton. You guys let me know down below. What do you guys think of this one? I'll try to bring it up a little closer. So hopefully you guys can see that. I love it. This is going to be my favorite so far. So I really, really love it. All right, let's see. Getting ready for the dog festival. So everything dog these days. Yes. Love me some dogs for sure. All right, so here we go. All right. Now I'm not going to announce anybody just yet. Let's go ahead and get started on our next one. And then we will. So for the next one here, let's go ahead and do the spray. So for this, this is a Gildan, ooh, Gildan soft style. I think it's actually 50. Nope, it's 100% cotton. So unless they're the heathered ones, the Gildan soft style heathered, those are the ones that are 50-50. These ones are 100% cotton. And I'm actually going to show y'all just in case. I don't want y'all guys to think. Hopefully you guys can see this. If you can't, you guys are just going to have to believe me on it. Okay. So it's 100% cotton. And for this one, we're going to use that spray. So you could definitely, there is um, the poly spray that you can get a huge bottle. If you guys are, especially if you guys are going to be selling them, you may want to invest into that. Um, you could definitely buy the Gildan Soft Style Heathered, and then you could supplement on those because they're 50-50. But like I said, we're working with 100% cotton today. So I'm going to go ahead and drop you guys down below. So the first thing that you guys want to do, and I hope I don't get this all over everything today. So y'all pray for me. <laughs> so here we go. We're going to go ahead and remove any sort of moisture and smooth everything down. There we go. Now, what we're going to do is I'm going to spray this. So you want to take your spray. There's a fine line between spraying enough and not spraying enough. If you've ever worked with a poly spray, um, you just want to make sure everything is coated. Don't oversaturate or it's going to make your design stiffer. So if you want to keep your t-shirt soft, by the way, your t-shirt will soften up. The design will stay the same, but your t-shirt will soften up with that first wash as well. All right, so here we go. So we're just going to spray. Let me grab my design. So with this design that we're working with, this is the one we're working with here. Look at how cute. Merry Christmas. So cute. So with this one, it's going to go here. So I need to make sure that I kind of spray all right here. So we're going to go ahead and just start spraying. And I'm going to spray out here just to make sure. And we're just going to make sure... We cover everything. My spritzer's being a little wonky, so I'm going to kind of just make sure everything seems like it's coating. This could be a fail on, <laughs> on the live because my sprayer kind of messed up. I'm trying to see if I can fix it. I'm sp spraying the heck out of my floor right <laughs> So I don't know. Hopefully this is going to work out. I'm trying to smooth everything out. So I can kind of see where it's not and where it is. So don't think I'm over spraying. I'm just trying to get it out of here. Okay. Okay. I think that's good. We're going to roll with it. Okay. So let's do this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to dry it. So there's a few ways that you can dry this naturally. It says, um, let it just kind of naturally dry down, or you can definitely use your heat press to dry it down. So we're just going to go over that. You want to do it for around five to 10 seconds. And then you want to do this between 385 and 40 seconds. All right. So that looks good. I'm going to go ahead and dry it down just a little bit more. And I'm actually going to go ahead. I'm just going to go straight down on here. All right. Because they showed just kind of going straight on there. So I'm going to do that. All right. Perfect. I think we're almost done here. Perfect. So now what we want to do, and you definitely want to let it cool down just a little bit. So this spray, like I said, you can find it over on Amazon. We have it linked down below for you guys. I do believe if not, I will link it as soon as we get done. We've done, um, let's see. Try, okay. I was, I seen, I, I seen a ghetto was trying to help me out about keeping it upright. I did try that. Um, she was definitely trying to help me out. Thank you so much. I got but I hopefully I think we got this. You guys were probably over there telling me what to do too. All right. So let's see here. So let's just hope that it's fully covered because <laughs> if not, we may have some good color and then we may not. All right, here we go. So I'm going to go ahead and fold this. We're going to get it right about here. And then we're going to get some heat tape and then we're going to press. 
Now they say 35 seconds, but I'm going to do the 40 seconds. Let me get a new piece of heat paper as well. There we go. And let's press it again. 385 for 40 seconds. All right, so while we're pressing this, let's go ahead and get ready for our next giveaway. So for our next one, somebody is going to win this entire sublimation bundle. I am so, so excited about it. Let's see. Bum, ba, 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 All right, let's see here. I am so, so excited. Good luck to everybody. You're going to have a chance to win this entire sublimation bundle. Who is it going to be? I get so excited about the giveaways. I love them so much. All right, let's see here. Congratulations, MF. Thank you so much for watching here on YouTube. All you have to do is reach out to Mel at designbundles.net. Let them know that you are the lucky winner and you will receive an entire sublimation bundle. All right, here we go. So let's go ahead and drop us back down below. Congratulations once again. Here we go. All right, now, before I peel this, if you guys, I'm actually going to come back up here for two seconds. If you guys want to see another giveaway, you want me to give away this bundle again, you guys have to drop down some Christmas trees. I want to see the Christmas trees. I want to see Santa. I want to look like Christmas is down below. I want to see fun festivity time. So drop all those emojis down below. If you guys are a YouTube member and you guys have those fun stickers, drop those down below as well. Um, and if I see some of those, then we're going to give away this bundle again. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and drop it down. Here we go. So we are going to go ahead and peel. All right, perfect. It looks like a little bit, oh my gosh. It looks like I've got a little bit wonky right here from that spraying. So hopefully you guys can kind of see that going on there. But it worked. So this is that sublimation spray, like I said. Ignore my sprayer. It got a little bit wonky. If your sprayer messes up on you, I would definitely just go get a, you know, one of those sprays from the Dollar Tree. You guys can grab those like where the hair stuff is um, to add water into. I see all of the Christmas stuff coming in. Dun, da, da, da. Um, so you guys can definitely switch it out. So don't feel like you're stuck. So if your bottle does fail on you, because remember when you're working with something like this, it's almost like Elmer's glue. So it can get clogged. So make sure you guys keep those nice and clean. So you can possibly even just buy these spray nozzles to replace. But it does work. I mean, look at how cool that is. So I did get a little bit wonky because of my, my nozzle, but look at the colors of it. It is vibrant. It looks amazing. It may not be popping as good on camera, but I promise you, it looks really, really good. I'm so, so excited about it. And it is soft, um, but it definitely will turn into feeling just like a t-shirt after that first wash. All right. So let's see. So all you have to do is use that hashtag Christmas again. So let's go. So make sure you guys use hashtag again. Even if you used it before, use hashtag Christmas down below. And we're going to draw another uh, winner as soon as we get done. So make sure you guys remember we do Q&A as well. I always forget to mention that. So if you guys have any questions along the way with what we're doing here, definitely drop it down below. It does help if you guys put them in all caps. It just makes it a whole lot easier for us to find because as you guys know, once you guys go crazy over this, um, the, the giveaways, it's kind of hard to find. <laughs> so make sure you guys do those in all caps. All right, so here we go. So use that hashtag Christmas once again. So here we go. So I've got a next t-shirt. So for this one, this is gonna be, one of my favorite um, sublimation hacks that has came out this last year, somebody has brought to everybody's attention. Um, so can, like I said, sometimes I can't remember um, or I don't know who the main person that actually came up with this, the first inventor, if you will. So huge shout out to them. So what you're going to do is you're going to take, I already did it just to make it a little bit quicker for us. What you're going to do is you're going to take that film and you're going to tape it down to a piece of, you could just use copy paper. Don't waste your sublimation paper. I did. <laughs> Definitely just use a piece of copy paper. Take that film. You're going to put the, see how that's got a shine to it? I'm going to drop you all down below just so y'all can see a little better. Take the one that has the shine to it. I don't think that kind of helps. So it has the shine face against the paper. All right. So you're going to have the matte side up. You're going to tape. Make sure you have the ever so lightly of tape because you don't want it to get in the way of your design. Ask me how I know. We've done that multiple times. Put majority of your tape on the back side. Make sure it's nice and straight. Anything extra, cut it off. So you just want to make sure that they're lining up super duper nice, right? So then what you're going to do is you're going to load it into your printer with a paper up. So paper side up because the printer is going to pull it in like this. Tape side in, paper up. You're going to load it. <laughs> Come on, girl. All right. So we've got this. Here we go. So now I'm going to go ahead, if I can grab my thing really quick. 
and I'm going to go ahead and print it. I know you guys can't see anything, but let me go ahead and get that printing really quick. So we're going to just print. So you're just simply printing. You're going to go ahead and just print as you normally would with your Sawgrass printer. I use that folder on my desktop, the drag and drop method. And that's just kind of what I do. So we're going to go ahead and go into jobs here. And I'm going to change that. Let's see here to 8.4. Or enter. I think that worked earlier. Yes, looks great. We're going to go ahead and hit print. So when you go to print this, you want to work pretty quickly because your ink is wet. You're going to take your powder and a piece of um, parchment paper. So you can use copy paper, whatever you want. So I'll go ahead and line those up and get them ready. I see we got those hashtag Christmas going on here. So cute. I love Christmas. I get so, so excited. All right, so let's see here. I'm just going to kind of let this print through. This stuff is like magic. So what this feels like, it reminds me of um, Caesar Easy Weed. It's just super thin. So if you guys have ever had transfers, so um, it is direct to film or direct to garment. It feels just like that. Super thin, super lightweight. It's gorgeous. It is so vibrant. It's so cool. And then I'm going to show you guys a little bit of extra, okay, with this one. So hopefully I have all the supplies I need. If you guys have not seen screen print for confetti, I'm going to show you guys today. So we're going to add a little bit of that on there too. I'm actually going to go back and add it to my last t-shirt. I just wanted to show you guys a little bonus today. All right, so we are almost there. Boom. So you should have something that looks like this. It makes me so excited. Every time I print one of these, I get so stoked. So you should have something that looks like this. So you're going to carefully do this and you're going to remove that tape. I keep this like this, set it aside, use it again and again and again until you can't, okay? So we'll get that out of our way. If you have any ink somewhere, so like for example, down here, I can see I've got a little bit of ink. I'm gonna go ahead and get that out of our way and then we're ready. So here, we're gonna go ahead and just take our powder and you can just kind of, you can do whatever you'd like here. But what I do is just get some on there and I just roll it down. If you've ever glittered something with glitter and glue, it is the same process. So you just want to do that a couple times, make sure it is fully coated. And then you should have something that looks like this. Now, I have seen a lot of people put these under. I've even did it when I first started doing it. Um, you put it underneath the heat press and let it dry for just a second. Don't touch the heat press to it. But I don't do that. Honestly, it, just put it straight on your T-shirt. If you're not wiggling around a whole bunch, don't worry about it. You don't need to do that step. And to me, I just feel like I find a better process doing it the way I'm doing it. All right. So here we go. Here's the magic. Like I said, this is my favorite sublimation hack on 100% cotton of all time. I feel like I'll do it for the rest of my life. All right, so here we go. So we're going to go ahead and take our uh, Cricut Easy Press, and I'm going to go ahead and just smooth out any sort of moisture and wrinkles, just as usual. Make sure you completely let that t-shirt um, cool back down, because we have powders that are not dried down yet. So if I start to move that around, those powders are going to start to activate somewhere. So just kind of let that dry back down. And then we're going to go ahead and take this with that mat side down, obviously our design. And then we're just going to go ahead and center it up. So just kind of eyeball my t-shirt going to come down around three fingers or so. We're going to go ahead and pop this guy down. And then if you need to or want to, you can go ahead and add a couple pieces of tape just to make sure it stays where it needs to, because this does not have adhesive on it. There we go. And then you don't even need a parchment paper. We're just going to go right on top. We're going to press 385 for 40 seconds. And I use the same time and temp, whether you have a big heat press or whether you guys have the Cricut Easy Press. So, you know, I used to always recommend going straight for the Cricut 9x9 because you're going to be able to, you know, save a little bit of money and you're going to be able to go all the way across the board. You'll just have to press a couple times. Now, recently over the last year, I've used that 10 by 12 and I just love it <laughs> because you can do baby onesies too with a pressing pillow and you can really just get away with pressing one time. And if it's a really big design twice, but um, I really like that 10 by 12. So in case you guys are wondering, you guys are getting ready for the holidays and you're trying to figure out which one to purchase. I love the 10 by 12. All right. So let me go ahead and drop this back down below. And then, oh, look at these colors. So the colors do the same thing where they come to life. Now, this is where the you definitely want to pay attention. This is where things can go wrong. If you try to peel this while it is hot, um, 
a lot of that, it's going to come right back up with you because the powders are now like gooey ooey, if you will. And they're going to try to come up with you. So you want to let it cool down. And I have found it's best right before it gets cold. So it feels a tiny bit warm still, but right before it gets cold, you can definitely peel it cold, but I feel like it's just the sweet spot. Um, and you may have to play one or two times, but honestly, you'll get it quick. It seems a little scary, but it's really not. So I'm going to go ahead and let this cool down just a little bit. And then we'll get ready to peel. So to cool down, you guys let me know in the, in the comments below. What do you guys do? Do you guys kind of fan your t-shirts like this? Where I'm at at my other studio, I actually put it down on my granite like this and help cool that down as well. I just kind of put it face down. And that really helps as well. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and get ready to drop this here. As a live streamer, I respect your ability to keep the words straight. Oh, my gosh. Listen. I don't do it all the time. <laughs> I'm a hot mess express, just like Michael says. All right, here we go. So I'm going to go ahead and peel and look at this. And I'm telling you guys, it is so soft. You can move it around. It is so nice. Look at those colors. And this is sublimating on 100% cotton. So if you guys are looking for the number one hack for sublimating on 100% cotton or creating, because technically it's two hacks in one, or creating your very own direct-to-film hack, you got to try it. I'm telling you, you're going to be obsessed. So the question I get to on this is, can you use it with inkjet? And you can't. Um, it's the magic between the sublimation inks and these powders that actually make it work. Um, so it's definitely not going to work with the ink. The inkjet, you definitely want to use the sublimation. So it's two for one. Like I said, you're sublimating on 100% cotton and you're also making your very own direct to film um you're doing your very own direct-to-film hack, which is saving you thousands of dollars because those partners in themselves are thousands of dollars. So there you guys have it. You guys let me know in the comments below. <laughs> do you guys absolutely love it? Let's see if I can bring that in a little bit more. And I really do love this design. I think it is so, so cute. All right, so I'm going to, so you guys, last minute, we're getting ready for Q&A. Um, so while we're doing the q and I'm going to go ahead and do some screen print confetti just to kind of, like I said, show you guys a little bit. I'm just trying to decide. I think I will do it on this one right here. We're going to do some of that red. All right, so let's go ahead and get ready for Q&A. <laughs> All right, here. So let's go ahead and get ready. I'm going to drop down my temp two to about 325. And I am going to drop it down to about 10 seconds. Let's see here. Can you just use white HTV to sublimate a picture on, please? So um, the, uh, the HTV, I don't think it can handle the heat. So I personally have not, and it may not have the coating. So say, for example, the reason why um, glitter HTV works is it has the, it's poly coating in the glitter, if that makes sense. So that's why the glitter works. And so um, you just have to be mindful for that. I just, like I said, I have not tried it. I've just heard you can't, we really need to put it to the test, but I think the heat honestly would not be able to hold up with that heat. Let's see here, but you could definitely sublimate a picture on the glitter if you wanted to as well, or do like Caesar easy sublime. Let's see question. If, is there only certain formats you can slice? Slice is almost never available for me. Let me show you really quick. I'm going to bring my screen up because that is such a good question. So I'm going to do that really quick. Y'all just bear with me for two seconds. Share my screen. Let's see, window. I'm pretty sure I still have it. Actually, I already exited out of it. No, I did not. Let me bring that up here really quick. All right, perfect. I'm going to go ahead and share this screen really fast because that is such a good question. So I'm going to go ahead and hit um, cancel, and then we're going to hit cancel. So I'm going to show you with this design over here. So let's go ahead and just delete this. Perfect. I'm going to bring this guy up here so we can work. All right. So say, for example, that I was wanting to slice this in half, right? So I'm actually going to duplicate this one more time just to show you. All right. So say, for example, I have three pieces here. I go to select everything to do a slice. Slice is not there. You can only slice if you have two pieces selected. So right now I have three. Slice is no longer there. If I remove this, and then I only have one selected, slice is not there. So make sure that you only have two pieces, one and two. So say for example, I'm gonna bring an SVG in here really quick. So I'm gonna bring in this SVG really fast. Um, this one has several pieces, so you can come in, change it or whatever, right? If I went to try to slice this and I grabbed a square, 
All right. So say I grab a square here and I went to try and slice these two pieces. I selected them together. So I'm thinking one and two, right? The slice is not there because that is not two. There's multiple pieces. So in order to get that to slice, what you need to do is ungroup. We're going to grab that design, the one that has the multiple layers. You're going to weld it. Don't attach it. Weld it. You're going to make it one solid layer. See how now that design has become one. So now if I select both of these, I have the slice feature. So that's your problem. Everybody has done it. I promise you, I'm gonna go ahead and drop my screen now. We are done with this. So I promise you that is definitely something that all of us has done and experienced. And it's like, why am I not getting it? And that's what it is. Make sure it is two complete solid designs. All right, let's see here. Interested to see how the Caesar Julia does. Did, did y'all review? We have not. So I have not got my hands on it, but oh, I cannot wait. I am so, so excited and stoked to try that out. You guys let me know down below too. Have you guys seen it yet? It is gorgeous. I cannot wait. I'm so, so excited. All right, let's see. Where did you get the tie-dye? So the tie-dye shirts came from Clothing Shop Online. So if you go down in our description, you'll see where it says t-shirt. If you click that, it'll take you straight to the t-shirt. All right, so I'm going to go ahead. I think I can reuse this guy. Yes. All right. So let me show you all really quick while I'm still chatting here. There is this stuff called screen print confetti. I don't have a link below, but we can do it after the fact. Um, and all you're going to do is you're going to take and sprinkle it. So I'm going to add some pieces just to kind of make the shirt a little extra. So I'm going to go ahead and just sprinkle that just like this. I'm going to go and drop y'all down below and I'll keep on answering. Where did you get? Okay. So I've already got the tie dye. Now, when you work with screen print confetti like this, you can get it on your design too. So feel free to put however much and wherever you want to. So I'm going to go ahead and sprinkle some gold. This is really pretty too. So I'm going to sprinkle the red and the gold. So, so the red, because it's Christmas time, we're going to cover it. And then I'm going to grab one more sheet. So y'all bear with me. And like I said, this is a bonus hack. All right, here we go. So while I, I heat this up, so I am doing around 10 seconds or so. Um, once again, I've got it. I think, I don't know if I brought my temp down. I wanted it at 325. Okay, 325. You're going to go ahead and do the, I think it's still high from the sublimation. But basically, you want to do it for around 7 to 10 seconds on each one. All right, let's see. Do we have any other questions? Let's see here. Okay, how do you keep it from fading? So depending, so say for example, if you're talking about any of these, they should not fade because it is sublimating on the poly, right? So say for example, the, with the spray, you may have not sprayed enough. Um, so it just kind of depends on the situation. Like if you're doing a 50-50 t-shirt, you're going to lose a little bit because some of it went to cotton. Let's see, what was the white... What was the white backing on the green? That one was glitter. So I sliced it in half. That was glitter HTV. I used Caesar um, white glitter. So just as long as it is white glitter HTV, it just helps it pop a little bit better. All right. So I think that's good. I'm going to go ahead and pull this. Let's see. Is the DTF only for use with? Yes. So the DTF is only for sublimation ink. So if you want to do one with inkjet, I highly recommend, well, that wouldn't be with that. But if you're looking for something with inkjet, try out the Caesars DT, DTV material that is for inkjet. All right. So here we go. So look at how cool that is. It just gives you these sprinkles on here and it's made out of screen print. It just kind of soaks off in there. Some of those pieces may kind of knock off here and there, but it just really presses them down in there. There is tons of colors. Let's try to make sure you guys can see everything. So there's tons of colors. I'll link these down, but I grabbed these ones right here from Etsy. Um, I've actually had these from last year, but there is tons of them, even like mixtures. Let me drop y'all down one more time. <laughs> there's even mixtures like this. So like this would be really pretty. This one was actually, I used it on a Halloween t-shirt last year. It's purples and blues and, and white. So you can get them mixed with colors, like multicolors, and then you can get them in solids as well as like, this is a gold. It's really shimmer and iridescent, but it just makes the t-shirt a little bit extra and gives you guys a little bit more zing. All right, let's see. Do we have any other questions? All right, so let's see. Do you put the excess powder back? Yes. So just like if you were glittering something, put the excess powder right back into the container. Let's see here. What else do we have? Can you use this on mugs too? So I have not tried the DTF. I definitely need to put it to work to see how that would hold up. I have done glitter HGV on mugs over the years and it will hold up some. So I need to test it out and just see. 
Let's see here. Does the last one only work on white? So no. So that, well, you still want the lighter colors. We did try it here on the channel on a black tote bag and it did not show up very nicely. It definitely was like a, a color tone. Like if you wanted to do black on black, like a tone on tone effect, you could definitely do something like that. But stick to your lighter colors, just like you would like a light pink, a light blue and things like that. Let's see here. What else do we have? Have you washed the shirts and how do they hold up? Yes, I have. And they all hold up very good. So with all of these ones, except for the flock, which I know is going to hold up because I've used flock before. So flock's going to hold up just fine. I don't know about the sublimation holding up into the flock. So we'll find that up soon. I will do wash tests, but I have been washing um, the DTF and stuff too. And it, gosh, it holds up absolutely amazing. All right, let's see here. What else do we have? Let's see here. Did you have to put any kind of paper inside the shirt? I definitely did not. And I'll show you that as well. Um, and as well as the spray, I've been using, I've, been, I've done wash tests on those and those are holding up great as well. So I'll kind of show you that as well. So you guys can see, oh, you guys can't see. <laughs> I guess I could drop it so you guys can. So here's the inside of the t-shirt and you are good to go. So you're just kind of seeing through, but it definitely did not come through. Um, and then that would be the only, well, let's see. I'll show you with the spray one as well. That was a very good question. Um, when I first started sublimating, I started sublimating about 2016. I was putting a, um, a sheet in there so you can see the back of the t-shirt here. And then you can see through here. So everything looks good. There you go. And that's just kind of seeing through there, but nothing came through. Um, when I started sublimating years ago, um, I was actually putting, because there was nothing on the internet. There was nothing on YouTube. Um, I was definitely one of the first ones to start. There was like two other girls that had posted a video here and there, but there wasn't a whole lot of information out there. And I thought that you had to put the sheets in. Now, depending. So say, for example, if I was using an Epson where I did not have control of how much ink's coming out, you may need to put a piece of paper because Sawgrass has designed it. So if you put polyester, it's not going to put a ton of ink in that paper. All right, let's see here. Um, I'm assuming that you still can't sublimate white using this hack. It's basically using a vinyl hack or DTG. Yes. So technically, I know there is some people out there that are like, well, technically you're still not, but this is sublimating. So I have sublimated on 100% cotton. So I know it seems like, okay, well, especially for the glitter or the, um, for the flock, yes, you've got a piece on there. These right here almost fill one with the t-shirts. So it's really accomplishing it. So basically just like how, um, that spray I can't think of, of putting that coating on there is putting a coating. So cotton, you need polyester. So basically you are coating that t-shirt with polyester. Let's see, how big can you go on DTF? So right now, currently, I have only found the eight and a half by 11 sheets. Um, but if I find any bigger ones, I'll definitely let you know. I know there has to be because the printers do print big ones. I just need to find them. I need to really dig on Amazon. So, so as long as your printer, if you can find them, as long as they say they are for direct to uh, film DTF on them, you're good to go. So if you have, say, for example, Sawgrass SG-1000 or a bigger Epson, you can print on the bigger. Um, you're not limited. Let's see here. Um, what else do we have? What is the screen printing stuff called plastic? So this stuff right here is called screen print confetti. So what it is, and I'm actually going to drop y'all down again. So what it is, you guys can see in there and you can open it too and just sprinkle. It feels like fish food in a sense, but what it is, it is where, and I've showed you guys a video. There's actually a video on our channel showing you how to make your own. Um, but basically what they have done, sometimes they'll flood an entire piece of, it's almost like a plastic paper in a sense. And then they'll take a scraper and scrape those off and it'll, you know, crumble up and make the confetti. Sometimes like what I showed you guys was we used a um, leopard print design. So when you rolled it off with that plastic scraper, it was already kind of ready to go. So this is actual screen print ink. Let's see here. What's the difference between the sublimation method and printable heat transfer paper? So the difference between these methods. So if you wanted to use Caesar Easy Subly, it can get quite expensive, honestly, per sheet. Or say, for example, I just want to hack. I want to be able to sublimate on 100% cotton. I don't want to go out and have to purchase those sheets. And I have Glitter HTV on hand, or I have the Flock HTV. Or say, for example, to me, now my favorite hack is using the direct to to film. I love this hack. It is just by far my favorite. So basically what this does is it teaches somebody, especially the hobbyist, um, a way to use what they have on hand to be able to supplement on 100% cotton because 
Not everybody is a fan of polyester t-shirts, me included. <laughs> Let's see. So if it's cotton t-shirt, do you have to use the spray to make it work and only use light colors, not dark? So yes, yeah, so basically we don't have an undertone of white. So this is not going to replace a white. So that's why you still have to stick to light t-shirts. You could do light pink, all those things still. Um, let me see. Let me read that again. Let's see. Sure. You have to spray it to make it work. Is it on cotton? Yes. So because you wouldn't need to spray a cotton. You don't need to spray um, polyester, for example. But let's say I have a burlap bag, um, you know, or a burlap pillow or something. I could still spray this on there as well. It's not just cotton in a sense. Let's see here. Uh, first time hearing about this. What's the difference between sublimation versus HTV? Thank you. So um, HTV is actually cut out. So let me grab a piece real quick. So say, for example, don't y'all don't look at my drawer. It's a hot mess. <laughs> so HTV, for example, different colors, different styles. You're going to cut it with a die cutting machine like a Cricut. And it's got it's vinyl. Essentially, you can feel the texture. Sublimation is actually printed out of a special printer, sublimation printer. And it fills one with the T-shirt. Now, if you do some of these hacks, you may have a little bit of texture. Uh, but that's the difference. One is printed with a printer and one is cut with a die cutting machine. Can you tape designs together to make a larger image with the DTF? Yes, you can. So you can do the exact same thing. You're just want to, going to want to be very careful with those inks. They are super wet. Unless, say, for example, you go ahead and you get your powder down and you use a heat press to hover above to dry those down, you could probably work with it a little bit better and not be knocking powder off or bumping wet ink. But if you guys want to see that happen, you guys let me know and we'll definitely make it happen. I promise you that. All right, let's see. What do you think of Juliet? Oh, I'm so excited about her. I cannot wait. And if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, especially I refer to everything to her. Um, it is a new, Caesar is releasing their very own die cutting machine and it is gorgeous. So they're calling it Juliet. And you guys let me know in the comments below. Do you feel like something else? Because it says, where art thou Romeo? Unless they're saying that we're Romeo and that's Juliet, or is there something else coming? What else is Caesar got up their sleeve? Because I feel like there is another thing. I feel like Romeo is something. Is it a printer? Is it some other type of, you know, die cutting machine? Like, is it some other material? I feel like something else. Or let me know in the comments. Do you think that we're Romeo? So they're saying that we're Romeo, but I'm so excited, y'all. As soon as we get our hands on it, I promise you videos are coming. Let's see here. Uh, can you, okay. Da, 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 da. I think... I think that was our last question. Let's go ahead and get ready for a giveaway. All right, so let's go ahead and get ready. Good luck to everybody. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with us. We enjoy it when y'all come to hang out live. Dun, 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 dun. Let's go ahead and hit that draw button there. Good luck to everybody. Once again, um, the lucky winner is going to get the entire sublimation bundle. So here we go. Dun, 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 dun. Jer Jeremy, I guess you saw, is it that how you spell it? Jeremy. So Jeremy has one. Congratulations. Thank you so much for watching us here on YouTube. All you have to simply do is reach out to Mel at designbundles.net. Let them know that you are the lucky winner of the sublimation bundle, and they will add this to your account so you can start crafting as soon as possible. So once again, thank you so much, and congratulations to all of our lucky winners today. Make sure you guys hit that notification bell down below so you guys know when we release new videos, so you guys know when we're going live, because we give stuff away. So you don't want to miss it, and we're... We're crazy. We're weird. We're, we love trying out new stuff. So if you guys want to see what's trendy, you guys want to see what's new coming out, definitely make sure you guys hit that notification bell and hit subscribe. Uh, we would love to have you guys here as part of our team. Once again, thank you guys so much for watching us and I'll see you guys on the next one.